Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinterestinglife.com You're joining me on board good old narrowboat Tilly as always and today we're going to have a random narrowboat life video that was sort of unintentionally made yesterday where I somehow just randomly started to document my entire day on board we had all sorts of weather changes and it was a normal day I would describe it as a normal narrowboat life day rather than one of these days where I'm off biking and walking for miles or going up mountains or anything ridiculous like that in fact I didn't even move the boat it's just a normal day of life I was trying to get a lot of writing done as well so really it's just that sort of standard day of life where you can't uh, trust the weather to do too much outdoors and you need the fire on every now and then just to give it a little bit of extra warmth on board but I suppose without further ado let's dive in and have a look at a normal narrowboat life day. Today isn't a bad way to spend the day I don't think. I'm not up to much in particular but I'm just on board and as you can see even with the pylons about we've got some wonderful rural and general nice outdoorsy scenery a very quiet canal, it's almost dinner time and I've only seen four, maybe five boats tops go past. And this morning I woke up up at my friend's house as she is about to give birth at any given moment. So she was on her own last night so I had to go and sleep on an airbed on their living room floor just in case any excitement did happen. And as you can see, it's like biking back down, maybe about 45 minutes, 50 minutes at the absolute maximum to get down to the boat here. And then, like I say, today it's just a nice lazy day. Got the uh, fire cleaned out and so yeah, you can imagine that's a great fun um, activity. Fetched in a little bit of wood to just dry it out a bit, a little bit that has got wet. It's got barely any airflow through. And if we pop the top off here, the fire always looks a lot more dirty on camera can see that I've cut just a tiny part of one of those heat logs and dropped it in there and that'll be in now for a good while and basically as you can see the fire's totally empty and that'll just sit in there now being in a way and it's just giving enough heat out to keep the place warm not wildly hot or anything ridiculous because that's the last thing that I want and something that I am more than used to happening but it just takes the chill off and although they do not at all advise on cutting these things up and they say do not cut in fact it's something that I find particularly useful but of course if they say do not cut them then I too must not advise it and say do not cut those heat logs. Well earlier today I had to close the blind on the kitchen window here because the light was coming through from the sun and glaring on my screen and making me notes too bright to read whereas now I've just had to lift the blind up because it's so dark and overcast that it is now so dark that it's a little bit too dull to read me notes sat in the corner. It might also be worth pointing out that now when we look down the front of the boat we have got a lot more boats than there were when I first rowed out here this morning. Well we've got a little bit of blue sky, plenty of boats as company. You can see where the storm has passed over into the distance there. A little bit more clear sky and then doesn't look too good back over the Ellesmere direction but I've got a couple of bags of rubbish that I want to chuck out down at the skip down at the services by the Frankton Locks about a mile away from that so I think I'm going to put my waterproofs on and head down there and get that done and dusted. As we walk down the towpath I'd just like to point out just how narrow and how thin it is at these points. Now you consider that we're well past the height of summer when all of this stretches out and grows out really far encroaching further onto your very very uh, narrow towpath and you can see that if you stray off the main beaten part there you've got these little holes that I say little they're pretty substantial and it's quite interesting as well where you've got the um, stakes to try and hold everything together that stick up and out of the surface so much and you can probably see and make out how bumpy it is along there but this is somewhere that quite often over the sort of early part of the year I will end up uh, biking down here in the pitch black of night after work on a Monday and my goodness me you can imagine how slowly and how terrifying it is when you've literally just got your bike lights lighting up a little stretch of towpath ahead of you. I think we'll take a risk and cut straight across the fields and that'll cut the corner of the Frankton Locks off our 
little trip. Well, I was busy looking at the blue sky ahead. I didn't stop to realise that behind us there is an awful big storm and we're actually looking at the weather approaching us, not going away from us. Oh dear, what a silly idea this was. A very silly idea indeed. I am getting absolutely drenched and the wind has got up now. I am very, very cold indeed. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Our destination is just over that bridge at the end of this road, but it might as well be a mile away still at this point. We're sheltering again a little bit further up the road at the actual humpback bridge. One of the steepest, most humpy of all humpback bridges I've ever seen. And here is the basin just down from the Frankton Locks. And amazingly it is empty, but in the uh, clump of bushes there is the skip. The sun's coming out, the rain's easing, I've run down, chucked the rubbish in the bin, and now back under the shelter of the trees at the bridge, we've got a rather nice rainbow. Well would you believe this folks, the rain has almost stopped. There's not a breath of wind in the air and as you can see the sun is so strong that the camera is now having difficulty with the contrast between the dark sky and the incredibly bright sunlit greenery. Well I just cannot believe how amazing the weather turned out. It's a shame that I didn't hold on for 20 minutes and we would have had a beautiful walk but here we are at the last bridge before we get back to Tilly. Okay so just for the record this is how sunny it is now that I've got back to the boat unbelievable and it's surprisingly warm in here because obviously the fire's been on and now this incredible sun is beaming against us right from the very side all lighting up and heating up right along the side of Tilly. We've got wet trousers hanging up ready to dry when the fire is relit later on this evening and so that means yep we're back in the where's Wally pyjamas. It's gone five o'clock in the evening now I don't think I'm gonna head back out again like I say, this is an extremely lazy day and I've been trying to get an awful lot done in terms of writing. So yeah, it's going to be a nice cosy night in in front of the fire. Being through a little bit of that wood, I'm quite sure. My friends, there's one thing that I cannot possibly not show you. It probably won't show up at all well on the camera, but... as so I was just lying with the... well, with my feet down at the opposite end. And looking up, don't know if you can see, but through the back window there, I'm looking straight up at the full moon and between us and the moon there's trees hanging over and I can just see the outlines of a couple of leaves across the surface of the moon and that is just perfect. On that note, as we take a quick look at the fire and a little bit of kindling as I was just getting a very small fire going later on in the evening, I'll say thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos for nearly 200 narrowboat videos with a new one every week. And of course, feel free to subscribe, like the Facebook page and add me personally on Facebook and Twitter for loads of photos and general canal life updates. And please feel free to support me by checking out my books for the Kindle. All the links are in the description or search Amazon for The Narrowboat Lad. Until the next time, keep it boat worthy and have a fantastic day. Farewell.